All right, so I recorded the other two parts first, and I figured you guys might want to know how to get to it and what exactly we're mainly doing. Um, this is a 2007 Chevy Cobalt LS, um, and the right passenger side uh, door actuator has always been an issue with these and other GM vehicles. And I found a little hack that allows it to stop the annoying clicking sound that everybody reports without actually, you know, taking to the dealership, spending $900 to a dash part, replace that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open the glove box here. And on the side, there's those two little grippers. That'll allow it to hang down, give you a lot more room here. And as you can see, right here is your air filter. I already have the uh, zip ties that will be explained a little bit later on what they do. The two outside clips will still close with this, so you can still close that. The middle one you might be able to get, but you really have to squeeze it. So we're going to pop this open. And this is where you access your cabin air filter. Of course, this one's dirty. going to order one online because I'm not paying 20 bucks in a store for one when I can get it online for like 10 bucks. eBay, Amazon, wonderful thing. So there's that. If you look up in there, that's the actuator door. Let's uh, outside air in. It activates when you start the car, and when you hit the recirculation button right there, it'll open and close that. So that's where it's at, and that's how you get to it. And in the rest of the video, I will explain how you're gonna actually uh, jimmy rig this so it works. Okay, so for anybody having the issue of the actuator door on a Cobalt and other GM vehicles where it makes a clicking sound because the final gear is messed up so it just bounces, if you stick zip ties down through the bottom and up through the top up there I don't know if you can see it all that well but you run it through there where the flap rests against that and the notch on the zip tie should be spun all the way up on the back side so that vent flap door hits it it'll make it so it doesn't hit that final gear so that way your door still works but you don't have that annoying clicking sound every time you start your vehicle. So let's see if we can get an example of it clicking and then what happens after I do this. So we're gonna close it and I'm gonna slide or try to, you gotta keep it tight so it doesn't move. So I'm going to slide these. As you can see, these are both out of the way, not touching the door. And so we're going to close this, and hopefully it clicks. And there it goes. So we're bouncing off that because that gear can't support it. So we're going to close it. Hopefully I can get this on video. You see where I've coupled it together? You get that about right up there where it disappears off the edge of that. And I did two. So there's the first one. Here's the second one. I did two just to make sure it sticks. I might have to, I'm going to need two hands, so we'll do some wonderful movie magic. So I'll be right back. All right, wonderful movie magic. Gotta love it. So we are back. And as you can see, I have both of them notches from the zip ties up against there. So we're going to close this door. And watch what magically happens. It hits it and it doesn't hit that gear. Guess what? No more annoying 10 to 15 second click noise every freaking morning when you start your car. So uh, there's your redneck fix for you and I hope you guys appreciate it.